Hello everyone, welcome to week three of semester two. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of what we'll be covering throughout the week. So first, let's look at our agenda. The lessons that we'll be covering are going to be reviewing the analysis skills in the timelines that we're going to be presenting throughout the lessons in 1.3 and 1.4. Um, we're gonna be looking at the Spanish colonization, the Colombian exchange, and the independence of Mexico and Central America. Let's consider these couple of big questions that we're also going to be considering and addressing throughout the upcoming lessons. Why did the Spanish explore Middle America? How did Spanish colonization share life in New Spain? What was the Colombian exchange? How did Mexico and Central America attain independence? So these questions are the big main ideas that are going to be highlighted in the lesson. So make sure that you have these in your notes and that you know how to answer these in a few sentences by the time we're done with the week or throughout the unit. When we're looking at Spanish colonization, we're gonna be looking at the encomienda system. So the labor system that, re that rewarded conquerors with the labor of conquered non-Christian people. So we're gonna conduct a true and false activity for this after we read through the Savas lesson. And we're going to be exploring the 3D model on Savas for seafaring technologies. So we'll get to look at a ship and see what was included on that. And the red circles will show us the pieces of technology on there and their purpose. We're then gonna be looking at the Colombian exchange and studying aspects of it in terms of its purpose and the types of goods that were exchanged. So this is going to be done through a drag and drop game and worksheet where we're going to be looking at the goods that traveled from Europe to the Americas, the Americas to Europe, and why the British um, did, you know, why did they not encounter much resistance when this first started, when it first started to uh, colonize North America in the 1600s. Then when we move on to studying the independence of Mexico and Central America, we're going to see why Mexico and Central America wanted independence and the challenges that they faced um, after independence. So we're going to create a roadmap similar to the one that I have on the left side of this slide. So this is a hand-drawn one. I will give you this one to fill out if you would like, or you can draw your own, but we're going to be displaying these and including this in our project category for A4. Then we're going to be looking at timelines. This goes hand in hand with the analysis skills that we're going to be practicing. So we're gonna be familiarizing ourselves with the key events and how timelines are used to summarize key events when we're looking at major historical concepts like the Mexican Revolution. We've already been through some examples of the um, activities that we're gonna cover, like the interactive galleries, the interactive maps, the drag and drop, the 3D models of ships, some station activities, lesson checks, of course, and our current news that we try to cover on a weekly basis, where you're going to be using the 5W method that we've done and um, you know completed throughout last semester as well. So we'll use the same method, same newsflash, um, once a week, hopefully. And that's basically it for this week. Resources can also be found um, on BC, uh, throughout each page lesson. If there are any attachments that are there, these are the worksheets that we're going to be using throughout our lessons. You'll get a printed copy of those in class. So make sure you do keep document those and keep those on file when you need them for a quiz or for any exams that are coming up. And that is all for this week. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in person or you can email me.